How's it going guys? So in this video, I'm gonna be explaining our new building project we have coming this year, what we're gonna be changing. So first I'm gonna go through and show our current situation with our heifers. So this is our heifer barn that we keep our calves from straight out of the calf barn at three months old, all the way up through about 10 months. And the milking parlor is right over there. It's just down across the farm. So the first four pens in this barn were built in the 1970s, we believe. And they're uh, flat floor the whole way back through. Got the scrape alley in the front, we scrape out. And then blow bedding in the back. Builds up a deep bed pack. In the 80s then, they decided to extend this barn another four pens. And so these have the scrape alley in the front the same width, but then they're deeper, a little bit wider. And these are actually a Virginia style pen. So rather than the flat floor, like the smaller ones, it's got a slope in the back. And it's designed that all the manure just works its way down to the front and then you scrape it out. And when they built these, they actually made them so that you wouldn't have to put any bedding in and you just have to scrape the front, which we're not a fan of that because we want to have bedding for these animals. It's just good for them to be able to lay on something soft. We blow bedding in the backs of these and then we scrape the front three times a week. This barn has 60 headlocks. The first four pens are kind of small, so we don't quite fill them full. Like this pen only has five in it. There's actually seven headlocks here. This barn is starting to show quite a bit of wear and there's some different issues it has. So a lot of the posts are beat up like this. You see the heifers like to just chew at the wood. That one there is okay yet, but there's some that are worse. This one here is completely broken off. We would need to uh, completely replace this post. It's not really doing anything right now. If you look at this post, something needs to be done there. That watering trough needs to be replaced too. It has the telescoping gates, which are all starting to show some wear. Just see there. They're holding on and they're working right now, but it's it's not great. Some of our latches are giving trouble too. I have a chain on here right now. We're really not too happy with the comfort in this barn. It's kind of crowded. And the Virginia style pens with the sloped floor in the back, it's just not the best. This wall is getting pushed out. Need to repair this. Got some bedding working its way out there. You can see the, this is where the expansion happened. It's a little bit deeper at this part of the barn. So this heifer barn is right beside the dry cow barn. We scrape all the manure out of those barns back here. And there you have a manure pit right here. There's a circle, it's a 12 foot pit. All the liquid gets scraped into this hole. That store is pretty good. So one of the issues with this barn is the shavings works its way down into that manure in the scrape alley. So when we're scraping it out, it's not all liquidy enough to put in the pit and to pump out into the spreader. So we end up with this kind of mix of solid and liquid manure that we can't really do anything with. We have the pilot and we've been piling it out here on this old barnyard area for a while. And this is just not the best setup. You know, we get rain, we try to keep it up out of the where the rain water would run, uh, but it's, it's really just not the best setup. And this kind of whole area, this old barnyard is starting to give trouble. There was a drain here that's plugged and we have water running down through this pasture area. Yeah, it's just kind of a mess back here. So I show you the current situation here. I'm gonna talk about what we're gonna build, but first I wanna go to the other farm and we'll check out what we have there. Around 10 months, they get hauled down. We unload them here. And we'll keep them at this property for about another 10 months. And we rent this farm, and we have been for the last five years or so. So this building we call the bull barn. This is where we keep the pregnant heifers. So around 15 months or so, once we know they're pregnant, they stay in this pen, and these walk out and eat over here. They all eat from the bunk feeder right there. And we have this gate at the end of the feeder to split them off. We have about 40 head that stay on this right side. These are the older ones that go over to the bull barn and then 40 on the left side. And these come around the end 
down into this lower barn. And this is a Virginia style barn as well, just like the bigger four pens at our home farm. So the ones on this side are the 10 month old through about 15 months. So these animals are the ones that we spend a lot of time with because these are the breeding age heifers. So we come down here and watch them twice a day. And if one would be in heat, we sort her out. And we have a, a pen down there we can sort them into. We just came down and scraped here and bed up today. So it's at its best right now. But we have a pretty hard time keeping it really clean. The the bedding in there, we just put bedding in there, but it's all gonna work its way down into the scrape alley. So then we end up with like a semi-liquid, more solid manure in there, and we can't really scrape it into the pit. So we end up having to scoop that out, and it's just really not the best for comfort. Having these heifers stay on concrete a lot, we don't really like. Now this farm does have some pastures. During the summer, it's pretty nice. We have meadows out there. Half the year we have to keep them off those, so it's it's not really the best situation in here. This lower barn has headlocks, so if we need to catch them to give shots, like vaccinations or something, we'll do that, but not that handy because we don't actually feed them there. We feed them up here at the bunk feeder. It works okay. There's not actually enough headlocks for all of them, and we end up chasing them around, and we make it work. So at this farm over the last few years, we've actually had a couple different injuries happen, just trying to sort out animals and working down here. My dad actually tore his rotator cuff trying to sort a heifer out by himself. And another time we were getting a heifer behind a gate to get a blood sample and then she pushed the gate and my dad bruised his ribs on the one post here. Um, the one time I, uh, about six months before I started making YouTube videos, I was cleaning this out with a skid loader. It was more my fault, but I ended up pinching my foot and thankfully didn't break anything, but it could have been a lot worse. It just hasn't been the best place to work. We don't like how dirty the heifers are down here and just having them walking on concrete all the time. It's kind of intentional that I'm making this video now after we cleaned it out, but it gets messy after a couple days. So yeah, that's the current situation at this farm. All right, we're back here at the home farm. Let's talk about the new building. The plan is to build a building to house all the heifers in this barn, as well as the younger half at the other farm. So it'll hold all the heifers from three month old all the way up through about 15, 16 months old. We're gonna be tearing this barn out and the new building is gonna be longer, wider, and it wouldn't fit in this spot. So this part is gonna all be just open area now, and we're gonna be building it actually back here. Front corner of the barn is gonna be approximately right here, and run that way. The building's gonna be 142 feet long, and then about 42 feet wide. So I have the design papers for this barn, I'll show you. It's a little bit similar to this barn in some ways, but it's definitely better. So this is the side profile of the building. So it's gonna be open in the front and then we'll have a scrape alley in the front, sort of like this barn has here at home. But the difference is we're gonna have a 10 foot pit underneath it. So it's gonna have the slatted floors just like up in the free stall. And that'll be so nice because we're not gonna have to worry about scraping the scrape alley. It'll always be clean. We have some neighbors that have barns like these and we were looking at those. They stay extremely clean, actually cleaner than the freestyle barn where the cows are just because I guess they make a little less manure and then the back is a flat floor 30 feet of bed pack space so rather than having the slope floor like our current barn has this will just be a flat floor we have to throw bedding in build a bed pack and it'll be a lot more comfortable for them they'll be able to stand on cushion bedding rather than concrete so much so let me look let me show the view from above now so we got the, the scrape alley across the front. This will all be flatted floor. And we're gonna have individual pens, sort of like the barns we have now. Uh, there'll be eight calves starting out in the younger pens and then it'll be moving its way up as we get towards the end of the building to have some bigger pens. These pens are gonna be quite a bit deeper than our current one is as well. So it'll, it'll be more spacious and comfortable. The nice thing about this is we're gonna be able to eliminate this whole area, all that manure stacking right there. We're not going to need because we're going to have the pit and then we'll have the bed pack area so we'll have to clean that out sometimes but the manure will be kind of stored in there rather than having to bring it all out every week it'll be a lot more comfortable a lot cleaner it will take a little bit more bedding although i don't mind that if we have a lot more comfortable heifers i think it'll be worth it we'll be able to fix this lot right here this is kind of an exercise lot for the dry cows this will be where the new barn is and then we'll end up running the dry cows out 
probably behind this barn and we'll give them a new exercise lot. With this new barn, we're planning to have some exercise lots built in out back. So it's gonna be a lot nicer for the animals, I think. So we wanna build a building that is good for the animals, saves labor, and is also just better for the environment. Back here, we aren't super happy with the manure stacking we currently have. We've just been waiting till the right situation. We could make a change like this. But yeah, pretty excited about it. We will still be scraping this dry cow barn, although these cows don't make as much manure and a lot of it is liquid so we'll be able to take it straight into that pit and if there's a little bit of solid stuff we might end up being able to just put it all in the pit i really don't want to have to stack any manure outside i hope you enjoyed hearing a little bit about this project there's going to be a lot more videos about it once we get into actually changing things and building things so it'll start making more sense hopefully it kind of made sense what i showed here it'll definitely be a lot of fun coming into this summer and getting it done hopefully we'll be able to move in mid-summer we're planning to start excavating whenever we can and it's kind of a process to build these manure pits and everything so it should take a few months to actually get it put together all right see you guys